Take a look at it. So much easier to ignore when it's far away. And to actually walk out of it, to be that close. If I hadn't been saved by the Inquisition soldiers, I don't know what would have happened. Inquisition soldiers? That's not what I've heard. I have to admit, I thought you'd be... Human? Yes. Being up front is better than knife fear. It was a foolish thought. Should have known better than to say anything. It's what you do and how you do it that's important. Just one question then. How do you think you fit in with all this? I just want to help stop the war. Try to put things back in order. A worthy goal, one I'm happy to support. For me, I'll be satisfied so long as we find the bastards that killed the Divine. They owe us some answers. I've heard rumors of abandoned warden camps all over these parts. If we have time, I'd like to take a look, see if there's anything we can salvage. I want to hear more about you. <laughs> Compared to yours, my life will seem dull indeed. Your name, Blackball, doesn't sound Orlesian. Marcher, then. Ferelden. I was from the Free Marchers originally. Markham. That was a long time ago. Another life. I hear that many Wardens were once criminals. You're right. When you join, your past is forgotten, so let's leave it that way. What did you do before you became a Warden? I was... a soldier. A, a nobody trained to wield a sword and follow orders. I grew weary of fighting other men's wars. So you became a Warden? More or less. Becoming a Grey Warden... was the first time I felt like I mattered. The life I led before seems hollow in comparison. Perhaps one day it will fade away. Why did you join the Wardens? Because they remember honor and sacrifice. Words that have little meaning to the rest of us. Because they lay down their lives for those they have sworn to protect. We all need to believe there are such men in the world. I needed to believe I could be one of them. We can continue this discussion at another time. Very well. I'm here. Let's talk about the Grey Wardens. You must know a lot about them. Ah, the Wardens. I'm afraid we're less exciting than we seem. The Blight's been over for ten years. What do Wardens do when the world's not ending? There are still Darkspawn. Just because we killed so many in Ferelden doesn't mean they're gone. And the world is not so peaceful that there's no use for good men with swords. Sometimes you have to figure out for yourself what the pledge to protect others really means. It's not always about just archdemons and Blights. Where were you during the Blight? I was in Ferelden. On my own, like always. Quietly killed my fair share of Darkspawn, too. So you have no idea where the rest of the Wardens are? Do you find that odd? The Blight is over. We don't need an organized force. And orders don't change much from day to day. <laughs> For the last thousand years or so, it's been just... Find Darkspawn, kill them, repeat as necessary. You haven't had contact with other Wardens for a while. Why were you on your own? It's what I've always done. Recruitment only requires one man. Besides, I've always been a loner. Works best for everyone that way. Let's continue this at another time. As you wish. I'll be here if you need me. At your service. What do you think of the Inquisition? I expected more. More men. Better equipment. You may have Andraste's favor, but wars are won by men. Soldiers. 
Avoiding war altogether would be ideal. <laughs> True enough. Still, it never hurts to be prepared. One thing I will say about your men. They're passionate. Devoted. You inspire them. Build on that foundation. And you will have an army that makes nations tremble. What do you think of Haven? It's a war camp that was once a pilgrim's refuge. It's the state of the world though, isn't it? Holy ground turned into a battlefield. Pity about that temple. Would have been nice to see it. What do you think about all this trouble between the mages and Templars? Looking at it from where we stand, it seems inevitable. But that could be hindsight. How many of us actually saw it coming? Either way, I don't think the Chantry will ever recover. What do you think of the Inquisition's cause? Restoring order is a goal I support wholeheartedly. But that's not the end of it, is it? Not by a half. The Lady Seeker believes we are restoring the Chantry. Others say it needs reform. I don't know where you stand on the matter, and I'll admit I haven't made up my mind either. You must have some feelings about our friends. Have you seen the stories Varric's been writing? His descriptions of me are... colorful, to say the least. What do you think of my advisors? Leliana seems... nice. Also a little frightening, but mostly nice. You're not saying that for my benefit, are you? Are you so certain you're being watched? Are you so certain we aren't? I don't want to wake up with a blade in my kidneys if I can help it. We should return to our duties. As you wish. You are, after all, in charge. Now that we've got better maps, if you like, I can show you a few tricks to get more out of them. Oh, can you now? Fine, forget I said anything. You Feels good to be back at work, Inquisition. And lucky you have me. In lesser hands, you'd be in trouble. Haven can't support the mounts you need, but I can. How are your charges? Well supplied? Haven is groaning under the weight. It wasn't built for this. But we'll make it serve. Heard anything worth noting? Too busy to hear things, and that's how I like it. Farewell. Make her be with you. Can I help you with anything? Ironbull said the charges were at my disposal. Do you have any suggestions on how to use them? Nothing jumps out at me. If I come up with any ideas, I'll let you know. Can we talk about the bull's charges? Best company you'll find from here to the Anderfells. In my time with the Chief, we've gone up against everything from bandits to magic trees. We're expensive, but you'll never doubt we're worth it. Want to know anything in particular? Are there rules for how mercenaries operate? If you don't want some noble to treat you like bandits, yes. There's also a code of conduct most companies hold to. Keeps things civilized on the battlefield. We accept surrenders for ransom from mercenaries, nobles, and soldiers wearing a lord's colors. Our prisoners are treated well, injuries tended. We'd want the same for any of ours who got captured. Do the Chargers specialize in anything from a tactical standpoint? Bull doesn't want us large enough to work as an army. We're better as shock troops to skirmishers. We've got archers for hitting enemy infantry, Dalish with more archery, and Skinner and her people on the flanks. Rocky handles fortifications and traps, and Stitches keeps us all fighting. They mostly hold back. I'll lead the frontline fighters with Grimm, and the Chief goes wherever he can hit something. 
You said something about everything from bandits to magic trees. I'll admit to some curiosity. Right. Sylvans. That's what Dalish called them. Apparently spirits can possess trees, too. Some noble in the Dales, and they really don't like it when you call them Dalish nobles, had a haunted forest. His family had abandoned the land, but he wanted it back. The chief bought us all axes, and in we went. Between the axes and the torches, the Sylvans weren't too bad. Worst part was the squirrels. We'll talk later. selling to both the Mages and the Templars during this war. Hey, don't worry. We sell to you lot, too. Your people could stop this war if you just stopped selling Lyrian to everyone. Sure, that could work. Or everyone could attack us for it. Or maybe they'd try to mine it themselves and open up a hole full of darkspawn. That sound fun? Oh, I don't know. It seems like there has to be a better way. Well, let me know if you find one. It seems Blackwall knows nothing about the disappearance of the Grey Wardens. It's a disappointment. I am, however, glad that he is with us. Even if he was not what I expected. He seems to be a good man, and his experience will be an asset to the Inquisition. <sighs> As for the other Wardens, I suppose we will have to keep looking. Anything I should know? I have nothing to report at the moment. I'll leave you to your work. 